Welcome to my tutorial on how to fix Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4, the mod, on PCSX2 Nightly version 1.7. What we're gonna do first is make sure you right click the game and go on properties. You wanna do that first. Do not go to your settings tab on top. Do not click that. Don't click that. You will get issues if you change the settings up there and some settings are gonna be hidden if you do that. Make sure you right click on the game and click on properties, the very top option. This menu should pop up. Now, go straight to the graphics tab. Like that. Then from there, your render. Uh, make sure that's on Direct3D 11. Now, those other ones, they'll work fine. But these settings work for Direct3D 11. So, make sure you click that. Then your adapter. Make sure it's not on a basic renderer or Intel UHD graphics. Make sure it's on NVIDIA. Or, sorry. Make sure it's on whatever graphics card you have. For me, that's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 laptop GPU. Now on display, make sure it's on 16x9. Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is a widescreen game. So, make sure it's on 16x9. Otherwise, the characters are going to be squished in the game. The next setting you want to make sure is on is deinterlacing. Make sure that's on automatic default. And by linear smoothing, or sorry, my bad, I misspoke. Bilinear filtering. Make sure bilinear filtering is on smooth. It will be called bilinear smooth. And make sure none of these down here are checked on. Make sure they're all checked off. This is ensure accuracy to the PS2 as well as the best picture quality on sprites and other pictures. Now, your internal resolution. These settings are for 1080p as these settings will not work for 4K or lower resolutions or higher resolutions. So make sure it's on three times native 1080p. Bit mapping, put that on full PS2 bit maps. Generally, any setting with the PS2 in parentheses, you want to make sure it's on PS2 for the best picture quality. So texture filtering, we want that on bilinear PS2. Trilinear filtering, put that on trilinear PS2. And this next option, we want that on 16 times. Dithering, we want on scale. The reason why I want all those settings on is that even though it blurs the picture a little bit, some games were made with it in mind, as the PS2 was not made to be seen in the pixel-perfect display. This will fix out some of the rendering issues you'll see in the trees in the background or the character portraits. The next setting we want is blending accuracy. If your computer can handle it, make sure it's on a maximum. If your computer can't handle it, I recommend basic or medium. Though. But if you can do it, make sure it's on maximum. Texture preloading, make sure it's on full hash cache. And then this next setting is a very important one, as it'll enable some of the most important fixes. Manual hardware renderer fixes, make sure that's checked on. And leave these two off. But this third one, manual hardware renderer fixes, make sure that is enabled on. Check on. Now hardware fixes, this is going to fix the ghosting effect you'll see on screen. Make sure software CLUT render is set to 1. Do not put it on 0. Do not put it on 2. Enable it under number 1. That will fix your ghosting issue. That You'll see the ghosts behind the characters. That'll fix that. Then don't touch anything else on this page. Next, we're going to upscaling fixes. Make sure half pixel offset is on off. Make sure round sprite is off. By linear dirty upscale, you want that on default. Now, these texture offsets, this is going to fix the outline being broken. You want that on 350 by 350 if you're on a 1080p resolution. And once, once we got that, you're done. We're good. We can close it and open. Now I got a save state already saved here, so it'll help us skip the intro. Ah, wrong save state. My bad. <laughs> on save state number two. As you can see, the game looks pretty good, right? Outlines are in place, all the auras, they're there, the key blasts are there. You know, there's no ghosting behind the characters. It looks as is. The final flash is gonna look good. And we get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta versus Ultra Instinct Goku. All with the intended graphics. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope I hope it worked for y'all. Uh, I, did, I did a lot of research into this, making sure it looks as accurate as possible to the original games. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, I'm gonna head out now. Uh, hope to see y'all later.